Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome to my new subs. Um, so today's reading is what will be coming back around again. So, you know, it could be a person, it could be a situation, it could be, could be something within you. So we'll see where the reading goes, okay? Um, so for group one, your card is discipline. For group two, we have um, the downward path. And and don't be scared about the meaning of this card, okay? Because it, it it usually is um has a positive meaning as well as maybe a negative meaning. So I'm not trying to sway you, but just don't be scared about the card. <laughs> so group three we have inner freedom. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Not every message is going to be for you. Um, and if any energies come through, um, they're just energies, okay? And I'll see you at your groups. Hey group one, so if you chose discipline, this is your reading. What I'm going to do, okay, because these cards are really beautiful and the meanings of the cards um, can go into more detail than explaining it. So I actually want to read from the book only a part of it because that's quite an important message. So, right, let's get started. So we're going to read just a bit of it, okay? So this card actually means surrender your ego to the, to your true self and allow it to guide you. By becoming a discipline of your inner wisdom and following your inner ideal and callings, what, wherever they lead, your life becomes a divine adventure filled with grace and growth. So, this card is literally saying what is going to be coming back around is that you're going to be completely confused about something again. So, to go on, it says, this verse is very relatable for we can all empathise with Ajara's struggle and call for help. There are many times in life when we are overwhelmed, beaten down, depressed, demoralized and confused about how to proceed. As the Buddha said, life can be filled with suffering unless we know how to free ourselves from this pattern. So what I'm getting from this, guys, is you sometimes releasing that discipline, OK, um, tend to actually benefit us instead of trying to control everything. And that can be like ego, basically. So anyway, it says, through Ajara's confusion, it, sorry, though Ajara's confusion is common, his approach to dealing with it isn't. His answer to the confusion and, and uncertainty of life is to surrender to God rather than keep pushing with his ego and trying to go it alone, which is what most of us do. Ajara reaches the moment we must all ultimately reach the moment we stop pretending we are in charge, when we stop pretending we know what is best, the moment where we drop the ego and separate self and its self-will will that attempts to shape and control everything. It is in the moment we humble ourselves. Okay? So there's something here. Instead of trying to be rigid and disciplined about something, we need to release that, like I said, because it's ego. Um, sometimes things are out of our control. So, you know, maybe you felt like group one, you had control of this situation, whatever it is. And for a time being, it was under control, but it's it's like it's come full circle again. Hence the 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 reading is what is going to be coming back around again because spirit and the universe keep throwing it at you until you do something about it until you get the message until you take action so let's get started and see what this is so tap me into group one please spirit tell me more about this discipline card what what is about to come back around for group one <coughs> what is about to come back around for group one Jeez Louise. So look at that. You have release. That's death. This is ego as well, guys. So it's endings, transformation and freedom. It's There's something here you need to release and move on from. So let's have a look. So you've got death. Um, the Eight of Wands. Okay. Ace of uh, Wands, wow. Ace of Water, which is the Ace of Cups. 
the world look at that ending there's something here what is it ten of fire okay that's the ten of wands see now look this card literally says overwhelm stress and imbalance what's on the back of the deck page of cups you know with this card as well using our intuition okay usually leading with that sometimes can lead us in the right direction well i'd say it would lead us in the right direction most of the time if we just listen to it there is something here that you've been holding on to and uh, i don't know whether it's a job or a relationship um and with the eight of wands spirit is literally saying to you please take action take action now because you are either overworked overwhelmed stressed you're exhausted there's so much responsibility here something needs to come to an end here so maybe it's it's a job maybe it's a relationship let's have a look because i need to know what this is Tell me about the Ace of Fire and the Ace of Water. What is this that, that Group 1 needs to release? You know, it could be your emotions. It could be that you're not taking action. Because these are action cards right here. <laughs> Tell me about what needs to be released here with the Ace of Fire and the Ace of Water, please, for, for Group 1. <clears throat> Seven of Wands. You're resisting change. And I feel like Spirit is trying to protect you from something here as well. Oh my God, look what it is on the back of the deck. And literally, that's what that card means ego. There is a dependency, there is an illusion, there may be codependency, there may be a toxic relationship here or a toxic working environment. So look guys, group one, it could be both. It could be either one or the other or, you know, like I say in the intro, you need to take what resonates for you, okay? Because not all the messages are gonna be for you. So I'm seeing here literally it is not just work it is a relationship as well but it could be a relationship with work it could be a personal relationship here and things have got so toxic and it's like you're constantly having to defend yourself here so is it if it is a relationship here that you're having to constantly defend yourself and explain yourself to your partner are they what paranoid or something that you know that you you may be, you know you get partners like that are so obsessed with that you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing when it's not the case and it starts stressing you out it starts becoming toxic um or is it a working environment where everybody there is is living in their ego and people you know are constantly attacking you in the work environment let's have a look So we do have Scorpio, Capricorn. Tell me about this Ten of Fire, actually, with this Devil energy. The King of Wands in reverse. Let's move it over. They're so little, these cards. Five of Cups. Oh, dear. Four of Water. This is all cups. This is your emotions are just overflowing. They're all over the place at the moment. And we've got the dreamer, which is the fool. So where you're feeling overwhelmed and overburdened, group one, it is to do with... Um, I don't know how you're feeling about maybe your relationship that you're in. You know, maybe things were going great with, with work or with your partner here... And like I said at the beginning, yeah, everything was going hunky-dory, sailing through it. But what I feel like you did group one was you ignored the red flags, you ignored the problems, you ignored the devil energy that was going on in this relationship or this work environment. 
you buried your head in the sand hoping things would get better you know but there's this fear of you moving on and starting again that's what's holding you back if you know nobody wants to start again no everybody fears change you know you need to do what you need to do but with the king of wands here guys this is a really really shitty energy okay this could be somebody that has been unfaithful has stepped out on the relationship maybe multiple times and you've forgiven them and forgiven them so what is about to come back around is your partner going to do it again I feel like you've changed yourself. You've adapted yourself for this person and you've lost yourself along the way, group one. Because you're so fearful of them leaving you, which there's nothing wrong with that. We've, you know, I've, I've done that. It's ridiculous when you come out of it. But we've all, you know, most of us do do that. So you are dealing with somebody here. I mean, this could be a boss as well. So like I said, you need to take what resonates. But you're looking at someone who is very rude, um, could be a bully, okay? They're very lazy as well. So if it is a work environment, this is what you could be dealing with in the work environment. So if you're dealing with lazy people, you're taking on too much work and it's like it's, it's becoming a problem for you where it's actually causing you to feel depressed. If it's the relationship here, you're looking at somebody who is abusive, you know, unreliable, someone who is a womanizer. Because we do have the five of cups, which is disappointment, regret and forgiveness. So what is it? Did you forgive your partner, like I said before, and you hoped it wouldn't happen again? This is what... <laughs> I really don't want to say this, but this is what I feel like is coming back around again. You're going to be confronting the same problem with this King of Wands that you confront you you faced a while ago. And this is where the regret comes in. This is where the sorrow, um, the heartbreak, feeling, you know, worthless, ugly. That's a very sad card, the Five of Cups. You're not happy with the four of wands, okay? You're disconnected, you're not happy, but and spirit saying, you're like you're not you're not looking up because that's the four of cups. They're never looking up the person, or they're looking the other way instead of where the cup is coming out of the sky here, and you're not, you're just looking at these three cups, but you're not looking at this massive cup here. There is another opportunity out there for you. You know, you're you're just zoned in on those three cups here because this is what is consuming you at the moment and you have the fall and this is what spirit is saying there is a hope you know a fresh hope for the future here if you just take that leap of faith you take that chance to have leo aries sagittarius <coughs> i want to know about this king of wands and this five of water please spirit king of wands in reverse and five of water I think, I know this is really horrible to say, you know, um, usually what goes, what comes back around is things that we, we haven't, like I said, we haven't faced. We bury our head in the sand, basically. Um, and I feel like this is going to be a big dose of reality for you where you're going to have to decide what you want to do. Do you want to stay? Do you want to be in the Five of Cups? Do you want to be in the Four of Cups? The Ten of Wands? Or do you want to learn your lessons here with the world? Do you want to close this chapter and move on and start again? Tell me about the King of Wands in reverse and the Five of Water. And I feel like even <clears throat> your work environment is not good neither. <coughs> I mean, it could be stemming into your your work, you know. You had this passion, this excitement, this love and everything for life and it just got wiped out by the actions of this King of Wands. Two of Earth, that's the two of... I think that's um, two of Pentacles, three of Earth. So 
that's the problem because you've got a lot of memories with this person here there is so much nostalgia okay and I feel like that's why you stay and you try and work on this with this person hoping that you know that that they're going to choose a different path here and do right by you and be more <laughs> your ugh. your problem here group one is you're hoping for a change in this king of wands in reverse that they're going to give you the security and the stability that you so desire but yet they're not giving it to you you may have been with this person for a long time, you know, that you two may have been childhood sweethearts. Tell me more about this King of Wands in reverse, please, Spirit. So you have Justice, Page of Water, the Knight of... Yeah, look, they're not, they're not reliable, guys. King of Earth. And the Tower. See, look, this is this is you two. You two are a couple here. You know, and this is the uh, <clears throat> this is part of karma as well. Okay, coming back full circle because spirit is trying to say to you that this is um, how it's supposed to be. Okay, this is fair. This is now a time of balance for you. What are you going to do? Are you going to do the right thing for yourself or you're going to just keep ignoring what this person is doing to you is what Spirit is saying. That is an apology, okay, Justice. It's, it's about forgiveness. So is the Page of Cups. And this is the thing. This person apologises to you, thinks that just an apology is going to do, do, you know, it's going to make everything okay. And then what do they go and do with the Knight of Fire, which is the Knight of Wands? They step out again. Spirit is actually saying to you, this person is not someone you can rely upon. This is a lustful energy, okay? They're in and out. They're all over the place. You've come out as a king of earth as well. The, the king of pentacles. You are a type of person that is like a family. Your family are orientated. When you're in a relationship, you're very stable. You're very loyal. But that's been rocked. That's, that's... You know, that tower also says it's about transformation again, okay? And it says realisation, life change and liberation as well. So sometimes when you come to a realisation, it literally brings you a liberation, like where you feel so free in the end. So it could be Spirit saying to you, please look at this relationship here and notice that this person keeps disgracing themselves. OK, I know that's a big word, but, you know, very harsh, but they do. They keep disgracing themselves. They, they've ruined everything. It's not you that's ruined anything here. Your relationship was never solid in the first place. It's very rocky. And there is a change that needs to happen here. Very strong fire sign in this reading. I have Libra as well. <coughs> Let's see what advice Spirit wants to give you. Actually, no, no, let me continue with them. What advice would you give? Um, I mean, we can see the advice here. Spirit is saying it's time to take action here, okay? Realise that a change needs to be made because I'm literally hearing Spirit saying, with justice and with the tower on either end, it's like bookmarks, we're literally going to keep sending this back around to you until we get you to realise that this is not for you. This is not right. You're, you're being mistreated here, group one. What advice would you give group one? What's your advice to group one, please, spirit? The Queen of Earth. Oh, okay. Spirit is saying to you, so now we have another couple here. 
So I don't know whether you've had someone that's interested in you and you've not really paid much mind to it because you're already in a commitment with someone else. You know, you're not the type of person to step out on a connection. You've got a, a solid connection here, is what Spirit's saying, with a king and a earth or a queen of earth. This is the queen of king of pentacles, okay? This is why I was saying there is an opportunity in the future, but you're just not seeing it with this card here, with that big cup. It's a, it's a cup of love. Tell me more about this. What's this advice? <clears throat> know your self-worth. That's what I'm hearing. Know your self-worth. You are worth more than what this person is giving you. This person is a king of wands in reverse and a knight of wands. I mean, hello. See, now that's come out like that, guys, okay? Now, the two of wands is about planning something here, make, taking action, making a decision that's right for you, but it's like you're in limbo. It's like you're stuck. And, and it's like, I don't know, it's like Spirit saying to you, what are you waiting for? Why, you know, what is the wait? What is the hold up here? It's it's fear. It's like you keep, you're, you're constantly undecided about. You keep postponing it. You keep delaying it. And Spirit saying to you, why do you keep doing that? Is... <laughs> I don't know, what I'm getting here for you, Group 1, I do pick up quite strongly here. It's that fear, that nostalgia here of, of missing this person so much because I do feel like they've been a big part of your life here and it's like that's what the fear is. Tell me a bit more advice here for Group 1, please, Spirit. Yeah, for a fire. Why the four of fire? That's the four of wands. You know, you could be married to this person. It could be that you've even got a family with this person. You've got the page of air and the knight of air in reverse. You know, you could have built a life with this person, made a home with them, you know, have children with them. And that could be literally what, what you don't want to do is, is break up the happy home. But... It's not happy. And then you've got the Knight of um, Swords. Spirit is saying that you're missing out on opportunities here, guys. You're out of your depth. Is it? Okay. Spirit is saying you're missing out on an opportunity here with a twin flame, okay? Or that commitment that I said that is there, which is, you know, if this person has, isn't married to you, there is a commitment here with someone where you will have that happy family life, okay? You will have many, many memories, you know, you'll make many memories with this person. This is someone who you, you know, is going to be there for you. We've got the king of earth. <coughs> That's what you're missing out on. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Spirit is saying you are not speaking out about the injustice that is doing that's that's being done to you. You're keeping it to yourself, and this is literally what this card said. You're going it alone. You're not telling anybody. So I feel like on the outside, Group One, you're putting on this brave face, showing everybody that you've got this perfect relationship, okay, or everything's perfect at home. And I'm not having a dig at you. We, you know, like I said, we all do it. Um. Because you don't want people to look closely, okay? Because I do feel like you've got people in your life that would be very concerned about what this person is doing to you. And I feel like, you know, also you don't want people to judge your partner because, you know, it can cause problems. But I feel like every time you may have tried to pull away from this King of Wands in reverse they then bully the, bully you into staying, okay? So that could even be like, you know, um, may get aggressive with you. They may love bomb you. You know, you had an opportunity a while ago to meet this King of Earth, to have this 
four of four or five which is the four of wands and you miss that opportunity spirit is bringing it back around again for you it's like spirit saying what are you going to do about it are you going to you're going to stay but we all have free will we do what we want to do but spirit i'm just hearing spirit saying it will come back around again and it may even be worse than what it was before you don't feel loved by this person this person is is not very nice to you group one okay so we do have gemini libra aquarius so that's your advice from spirit there is is i don't know i'm hearing spirit say please don't miss out on this opportunity that we're giving to you again okay let's get some um oracle messages for you so what is um coming back around for group one oh dear oh dear okay calm in the storm see that's the thing it's calm before the storm and it could also be spirit asking you to remain calm when the storm does kick off because we do have the tower here become a shapeshifter okay i love that card that's the thing no do you know what i said to you guys a minute ago that i feel like you you mold yourself to what this person wants from you or expects from you because there is that fear of this person doing it to you again okay stepping out on the connection and you've put in so you are like a shapeshifter you can shift into anything that anybody wants you to be here but i don't know i'm literally not getting that as become a shapeshifter i'm seeing more of become yourself if anything okay that's how i'm interpreting that card and then we all are connected so you have a connection to spirit okay you may even have a connection to animals as well hmm okay let's get some messages 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 from your spirit guides so what message for group uh one about what's coming back around again. This is just group one. Oh, not that many. Okay, those two. So you have be proud and forgiveness. Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and it has a capacity to heal and transform. So, guys, it could be... <clears throat> if this does come back around again, Spirit is asking you to maybe... I don't I don't even know about forgiving the person you know maybe you might have to forgive the person that's done it to you but I feel like it's more forgiving yourself because I feel like you're going to end up beating yourself up for making this mistake or, or going along with it for so long um so don't do that and then you've got be proud. It's time to celebrate all that you have achieved, all that you are and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you have achieved and be proud. And that's, there it is. Forgive your mistakes. I do feel like you've come on a long, long journey here, group one. So, what else? The last quarter moon in Pisces talk less feel more yeah it could even be here that like I said this person talks you out of leaving okay it could even be that you talk yourself out of leaving as well so spirit wants you to feel more what else is um I don't know I just heard spirit say move in silence I don't know why <laughs> that's the message for someone Oh, okay. So we've got four men in Virgo, take inspired action. There it is again.
last quarter moon in Libra, make time for self-love. Yeah, I don't feel like you show yourself any self-love here, group one. I feel like it's all about this, this devil energy here and other people. You've forgotten about yourself. New moon in Libra, I know you are loved. And that's the thing. You are loved by other people, you know, family members, friends and all that. And, and spirits are telling you as well, we love you, you know, we're here, we're supporting you. We're also guiding you. So what will be coming back around for group one? Emotion. Look into the depths of your emotions. There it is again. I said there was a lot of emotions here. But I feel like you tried to block it out because you don't want to look at you don't want to look at it too closely because it could open up like this. I don't know. It could open up a lot of things that you've kept buried and but that's not healthy. Or it also could be here as well, group one, that um, maybe Spirit's asking you to really look closely at how you do feel about this person. The universe. The universe is guiding you towards that special someone. Wow. Just let everything take its course, Jesus. This is literally what I was saying. Spirit is literally saying to you, you are missing out on a four of wands here. I don't feel like you even have a voice neither that's why spirit was saying you're not speaking up for yourself enlightenment we enlighten we enlighten <laughs> sorry <laughs> with enlightenment there is no separation we realize that we are the one with the divine so maybe you're being enlightened to this now right cupid Oh, Jesus. Love is in the air when Cupid is around. There it is again. Like I said, for some of you, it could be you already know this King of Pentacles. Someone may have shown you that they're very interested in you, but because you're just not seeing it, because you're so into this connection here, wanting to make it work, trying to control the, I don't know, the, the outcome, I don't know. You're missing out on Cupid. <clears throat> Tell me more about what's coming back around. Trees will cause to find out. You have positive, optimistic, and beautiful. And spirit saying to you, be positive about the future. Okay, be optimistic about the outcome. There's a beautiful new beginning for you guys if you want it. Peaceful and quiet, which literally, if you have so much more peace. Instead of so much of the ten of pe uh, the ten of wands here, and plus, you know that that King of Pentacles, if you know if you're interested, will be bringing you a lot of peace and quiet, not any anything that's toxic. Let go of your inner faults. There it is again. Because I said to you, you, um, what was that card? Talk less, feel more. There it is again. Let go of your inner faults. Because I feel like you talk yourself out of, out of this situation. You, you know, you need to feel more, basically. You've got quite a few cards that have said that. Group one, please, Spirit. Consider questions comprehensive, comprehensively. Mm. You know, if you're asking yourself questions, group one, you know, we talk to ourselves, don't we? Even in our heads, even out loud. <laughs> um... Ask yourself the right questions is literally what Spirit is saying instead of, I don't know, there's something here with this, because I keep looking at this card here, what is that fear that's really holding holding you back here? Is it fear that, you know, you're not going to meet anyone, maybe this person told you you're never going to meet anyone like me, you know, that old chestnut that they use. 
And then you've got everything is wonderful. And when that tower comes down, remember that group one, everything is wonderful. You know, just having spirit saying that this is this is it. This is the way group one, you know, it needs to be. I mean, you could literally be convincing yourself that everything is wonderful as well. So let's get a few more cards for what's coming back around for group one. Time off, taking time to relax, taking care of yourself first, doing things that make you happy, enjoying life more. Yeah. So hopefully that's what you're going to start doing. Serendipity, divine intervention, perfect timing, happy surprises, a fortunate stroke of luck. So look for the signs as well, okay? It could be that, you know, you may already be seeing signs that you're about to, you're going to be in this King of Pentacles. Um, this is divine intervention as well from spirit. Like I said, it will come back around again. Birth, new opportunities, starting over, re reinventing yourself, birth of a child, idea or project. But I see you guys reinventing yourself, literally moving on. The first card out was the death card, and that's the same card as this card. You have new opportunities. Spirit wants you to start over. So, you know, moon, listen to your intuition, intense emotions, deception, hidden truth, proceed with caution. There it is. So if your intuition is telling you that your partner is being an a-hole again, listen to that intuition. And also, do not bury your feelings. You've got it again. You're, you're burying everything that... I've got a feeling here for some of you, Group 1, you're aware of your partner stepping out, but you don't say anything. You bury that. You hide the fact that you know the truth. That's for some of you as well. That's coming through quite strongly. And moving in the shadows when I said that's for a message for someone here. Because it does say proceed with caution. So be, you know, be careful. Oh God, third party. This is what's coming back around again. Others interfering in your business. Possible love triangle. Too many people involved. Someone is watching you. So there it is again, group one. Let's get you a spirit animal. So for group one, please, spirit. Okay, let's get the... the oh. <laughs> I'm not having a good time. Oh, okay. And perseverance, this is a message of patience. Whatever is going on right now, you cannot be so impetuous. By paving your, pacing yourself, the end result will be far more rewarding. Slow down, don't rush, work carefully and learn to accept help from others. There it is again. That card said that discipline as well. It's like we feel like we need to do this alone. We're all alone, but you're not alone. I'm not going to be using them today. Actually, Spirit said no. Ugh, right, Spirit. Okay, group one. Some charms. I wasn't going to use them. Spirit was like, no, use them. <laughs> Rosary, religious factors, spiritual path, sacrifice, morality and ethics. So, you know, you guys may, you may be different, a different culture to this person, okay, but, you know, religious factors may play a, a role in this situation here, but you're on some kind of spiritual journey as well, guys. Um, a sacrifice needs to be made here. Wax seal, invitations, messages, a secret is shared, sending a, sealing a deal, conclusions are reached. The spirit is saying a secret will be revealed to you because, you know, we've got the moon, which is all about hidden secrets, okay? Things that are being hid hidden from you. So you could be receiving some kind of message here that the, the secret is shared through that. Um, sealing the deal could also be that this is the final nail in the coffin, if you know what I mean, for you. Maybe you've forgiven this person too many times. Oh. Tear, heartbreak, denial of emotions, rejection, love and hate. 
group one. So what's coming back around is heartbreak again. Once again, you're in denial of your emotions and feeling rejected, which I said. And I feel like you have a love-hate relationship with this person. Soda. Seeking more excitement, thirsty for something, feel refreshed and regenerate, regenerated, whatever. Got your energy levels back. So there you go. Once you can clear this out, you're going to have this, um, this, I don't know, rejuvenation or whatever. Your energy levels are going to come back up because I feel like this is like an energy vampire that you're dealing with as well. Just sucks all the life out of you. So let's get you an angel number for this reading here for group one. 53, 53, angel of adventure, Raphael. You've had that twice now, adventure. Um, Raphael stirs the adventurous spirit within. Open your heart to exp exploration. Let wanderlust guide you. Gu sorry, guide your steps and revel in the wonders that discovery brings. Exploration, wanderlust and discovery. And this angel is saying to you, there is so much more to discover out there. There is a whole world out there that you should be exploring. So this is what I was saying to some of you here. You may have settled with this person at such a young age or you may actually be younger than this person. So ask a question, group one. Any question you want to ask, spirit. And let's see what spirit says. Group one, please, spirit. In the fall, leaves can show you how beautiful it can be to let go of what is dying. Wow. So some of you there may have actually asked about this situation right here. Okay. For some of you, before I close the reading, okay, there is a message coming through again here from Spirit. It's like, I was just about to say goodbye, but Spirit is saying, ah, oh, before you go. For some of you, this may have already happened, okay? You may even be just on the, like, just come out of this situation here. And some of you may be considering about a reconciliation with this person, Hoping that this person is going to change. But Spirit saying to you, no, no, this will come back around again. Okay, you will be doing this again. Some of you, it may be that you've buried how you feel about what this person did to you. And those emotions are going to come back to the surface. So that's just a couple of messages before I close the reading here for you guys. So my loves, thank you so much for staying and watching. I do appreciate all of you, the love and support you show my channel. I love you guys. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would really love to have you. You guys, wherever you are, you have a beautiful day. Much love. Hey, group two. So if you chose the downward path, okay, so what is coming back around for you is literally what this card says so what i'm going to do is i'm going to read a little bit from the book just a little bit and then we'll go into the tarot okay so the meaning of this card for you guys okay what's coming back around it says every human heart can become consumed by darkness but only if you allow yourself to brood on your anger and other destructive qualities therefore maintain watch over your mind and thoughts for they can create a heaven or hell for you internally and externally Lust, anger and greed are the free gates to psychological hell. Renounce these destructive forces. So, maybe at one time, you maybe thought you released this, I don't know, this downward path. Maybe there were some kind of addictions or, you know, maybe you got involved with the wrong crowd or the wrong person or whatever. We're going to look more into tarot, but... Sometimes when we don't actually face this, you know, face the, the trauma or whatever we're going through at the time and we try and brush it under the carpet or think everything is okay or we try and ignore it, spirit will then bring it back around and then it comes back tenfold usually, okay? Maybe you've tried to stop an addiction but you haven't really got the right help, okay? I'm not a doctor but that's what I'm saying. Um, it could be anger issues, you know, maybe you're angry with someone and somebody's going to trigger that anger and it's going to 
come back tenfold, if you know what I mean. But let's see what the tarot says because the tarot will give us more information. Um, so tap me into group two, please, Spirit, and tell me what is coming back around for group two. Tell me about this downward path card. What is coming back around for group two? The Ace of Wands in reverse. Why the Ace of Wands in reverse? Now that is like feeling really excited. It's, it's passion. Um, it's creativity. It's maybe a new romance. Um, a new project or a job. Or an urge to create something. But. There is, is something here that you will be experiencing some kind of disappointment or setback in regards to this. Tell me about the of ones in reverse. It's the past. This is, I need a bit more. Tell me about the Ace of Wands and the Six of Cups, please. Ace of Wands, Six of Cups, Temperance. Tell me a bit more about the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Six of Cups. What is this? Something from your past is coming back around the Nine of Swords, the Two of Cups, I thought as much with that six of cups seven of wands ten of cups king of cups oh dear Did I, I feel like it's not just one thing I mean it may be but In the past group two, you suffered with a lot of anxiety, okay? A lot of stress, a lot of worry, maybe even headaches as well. You didn't sleep very well. Oh, this is a bit of a sensitive subject, okay? Trigger warning here. I feel like you've got out of something with someone from the past now. It could be a parent, okay? It could be a family member. It could have been someone you were in a connection with, like a relationship with. This person brought you a lot, a lot of stress. And you found some kind of balance here, you know, some kind of peace with it. But... You know, like I said, it may have been, you know, maybe you had to take sleeping remedies. You know, maybe you started taking some things and stuff to try and block out this Nine of Swords here. And you never confronted this at the time when it was going on. Hence why I keep saying tenfold, you know, I don't know why I keep saying that for your, you guys. It's coming back around again and it, I feel like it's going to be worse than what it was. And I don't want to scare anyone. But it's something from your past. It could be childhood trauma. It could be someone that you've cut off. They're coming back around again. And it's going to be triggering for you. Spirit is asking you here. Don't be scared to put, you know, to put those boundaries in place with people. Okay. You know, it also could literally be some, you know, an ex here that wants a reconciliation from your past as well. You may even have children with this person.
but it's like this energy here okay this king of cups already disappointed you in the past group too and it's like spirit saying um are you gonna be able to you know remain strong and defend yourself from this person and put boundaries in place with this person or are you going to let them do it again i need more spirit here because it's either a family member or an ex those pesky exes so we have sagittarius we have cats scorpio pisces So we've got the Nine of Swords and this Two of Cups. Seven of Cups. There was abuse in this connection. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords and the Two of Cups. And I feel like I don't know. It's like you get very nostalgic about the past, okay? And I don't know, maybe you feel like they're going to change. Yeah, look, we've got the three of wands. You still miss this person. For some of you, you do miss this person, okay? For some of you, you're trying to keep your distance from this person. This person's been gone for a while, but this person is returning again wanting to heal things with you okay you know you could either be thinking to yourself you know you know maybe we can heal things and start again and you know have the connection that we once used to have and it, like i said it doesn't have to be relationship it can just be it can be a friend or a family member whatever you take what resonates here but there is a problem here it's like i'm hearing spirit saying look to the future okay look elsewhere you've hit you know you, you've sort of healed but you haven't healed and i feel like this is why this person's coming back around again i don't know spirit is asking you to heal something here what are you asking group two to heal what are you asking group two to heal here spirit what is it that needs healing the Empress, your divine feminine energy needs healing. It could be the mother, mother, motherly connection here. There is um, there is an apology here as well. Uh, there's something here that someone may want to come back and apologise to you. The healing energy is the divine feminine. Healing, which may actually bring you some healing, is forgiveness as well, you know, um, and understanding. That's if it's a, if it's a a parent or like a relative, but not the ex. Yeah, your divine, your um, divine feminine feminine energy is just out of sorts at the moment. Tell me more. What needs to be healed? Tell me about the Empress. The broken heart. For you to heal, okay, to get your Ace of Coins a new beginning, okay, this fresh start, something needs to be There needs to be something here that needs to be smoothed over, okay? Some kind of communication here because it's to do with a breakup of a relationship here. You know, heartbreak, heart, hardships, um, divorce, separation. Oh. Okay. I'm, oh, I'm getting you now, spirit. That's for the ones, if this is a parent, okay, that, that needs to be released. You need to let go of, of holding on to that. 
because it will come to the surface surface again so maybe there is some kind of communication here that you need to communicate with whoever this person is to try and find some kind of peace with it what i'm seeing here though with the x if this is an x um <laughs> What is coming back around again is this ex wants to make right with you, okay? They want to make peace with you. Um, they want a new beginning, a fresh start with you, okay? So they're going to give you all the promises, this, that, the other. But what Spirit is saying again is, are you going to allow this person to break your heart again? Are you going to allow this person to step out on the connection again? Because you've literally got the Three of Swords, the Knight of Wands and the Devil Energy here. Like I said, there was some kind of abuse here, some kind of... Um, this was this was, person was very, very toxic. Okay, They're very controlling, very manipulative. And it's like Spirit saying, are you going to be manipulati manipulated into... Um, Or being pushed into a new beginning with this person even though you don't really want it but then a part of you does want it hoping that you can you know things are a bit better the person's grown up and everything is going to be hunky-dory you have a lustful energy here with the knight of wands you have someone that's they've got their one foot in the door one foot at the door you cannot rely upon this person Okay, they don't bring you no stability into this connection whatsoever. They're going to break your heart again is what Spirit is saying. I don't know. It's like this energy here for you, Group 2. It's like they've been gone for quite a while and it's like they, they have the audacity thinking they can come back around again and disrupt your peace, cause you anxiety, cause you stress, cause you sleepless nights. I've got the, here as well, I'm just seeing is this person, you know, if you've got children with this person, this person doesn't see their kids often. And then, you know, they, they pitch up again and it's like it, they've never been gone. You know, they're the hero to your children. Freaking annoying that is. Um, yeah, this. I don't know something here about reconciling some of you may be tempted to reconcile with this person and spirit saying it's just going to repeat itself again this person hasn't changed with the other part of the reading there is a chance of healing with your you know if it is a parent like i said or a relative or a friend here there is um a chance of making things right with that person and putting it to rest and you know forgiveness is key is what spirit is saying so that is what's going to come back around again but what you need to be wary of is that anger you know that downward path this is what spirit is saying to you with this energy here if you guys reconsider a reconciliation with this person you are going to be headed back down a downward path with this person when you've literally come out and you've got your new beginning here you've you've made a like a life for yourself and it's like spirit saying do you really want to go back there again this energy could have sex addictions as well you know or maybe there's a connection between you two where it's very sexual like lust Do you have a decision to make? Because with that Ace of Wands coming out in reverse, okay, when I said about a new relationship, a new beginning, you may have that new beginning for a few months, a year, but it's all going to be taken away again until you see what is going on, you know, until you accept that this person is not good for you. So do we have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius and Capricorn and Aquarius there as well. Let's get some advice from Spirit. What advice would you give Group 2 Spirit? What advice would you give Group 2? Walk away. The advice in Group 1 was amazing as well from Spirit. Spirit saying, walk away leave the past in the past do not do not um do not revisit the past 
Tell me more about my gold. Ten of Pentacles and the Chariot. Why the Ten of Pentacles and the Chariot? What's this advice? The Tower in reverse. Okay. Thanks, Spirit. Your advice from Spirit. Where Spirit says, walk away. Move away from this person. Do not even, you know, do not... Uh, what's that What's that saying? Uh, do not pass go... Actually, this person should be sent to um, jail. You know, Monopoly. Pass go, collect 200. Whatever. Keep going is what Spirit is saying. <laughs> Sorry. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Spirit is saying, if you continue to move past this, okay, literally don't even give it any attention whatsoever, don't even think about it, is what Spirit is saying. You will avoid disaster, okay? You will avert, avert a huge disaster here. But the problem is, you're resisting this, this, you're going to try and resist it. That's the problem because you feel, I don't know whether you put this person on a pedal stool, you think this person has changed, they're very convincing it, uh, you know, convincing you that they've changed or whatever. But Spirit is saying that um, you can break away from this bad situation here, this, this, this energy here, but it's whether you want to or not. Because... Resisting disaster is your ten of pentacles, your generational wealth, your income, your stability, your security, you know, the, being with someone that you can, can, you can grow old with, that is in it for the long run. You're going to be giving it up for a devil energy and a knight of wands here instead of a ten of pentacles. Spirit is literally saying to you with the chariot, take action straight away with this person and keep moving forward and i feel like that's why that seven of wands was there as well that is literally spirit saying to you protect yourself from this person do not let them get back into your head do not let them try and sweet talk you or whatever here this is a strong message coming through because this person's true self is being hidden from you okay That dark side that they um, embody with the, the devil energy here is is going to be kept from you. This person's going to come in like a right charmer. And, you know, you may be convinced. This person's going to tell you that they love you. They want a commitment with you. Blah, 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 blah. But then you're going to be back to square one again. So someone from your past is deciding they want to reconcile with you, uh, group two, and do you want it or? I mean, you know, what's coming back around is maybe it's hard to, to say no to this person, you know, I do see that here because that's so devil energy, they're very clever. So that's Spirit's advice to you. Keep moving forward. Avoid the, the, the tower moment that you will have for yourself. You will be back at square one. And I feel like it would be worse than what it was. So let's get you some Oracle cards. Tell me Spirit what's coming back around for group one. Uh, group one, group two. Sorry guys. Embrace the masculine. Okay, so your divine feminine and masculine... Maybe, um, maybe out of sync, okay? So there may be, you may need to, you know, do a bit of meditation or whatever you on that to try and bring in the divine feminine energy and masculine energy. But it also could be spirit saying, when this comes back around, embrace the actual masculine in you. Be firm, be strong. Do not be the empress, the divine feminine in this situation right here. And then you have heed the messages, messengers. Please listen to the messengers, okay? So it could be through tarot, it could be synchronicities, it could be angel numbers, whatever. Spirit is saying, please heed those messages that you are going to be receiving. Because I, I feel like it will help guide you in making the right decision for you. Seek your answers within, yeah. And you've got the hermit there as well. 
the answers are within you your intuition as well so listen to the intuition so let's get some some spirit guide messages for you from your spirit guides okay so you have study and gratitude so it says life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy yeah be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have if you focus on gratitude you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance and that could be what this is, is that maybe you want your family back together, you want it the way it was, maybe you're not in a relationship and you feel very lonely and Spirit is asking you, be grateful for those little things that you have in your life, you know, the people that are around you. And then you've got study, Spirit, Spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again. From time to time it's important to go back and learn, whether that's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new. This is an opportunity to expand your mind. Do you know what, this is very weird that this has come through. I've literally got the message from this card saying that um, it's, so basically it says here, from time to time it's important to go back and learn. Spirit, th this is the thing about what what goes around comes around or what's coming back around again is because we didn't learn the first time we thought we did but we didn't there's still something that needs to be learned in maybe even a harder way you know maybe um you've left the door open for this person and that that's where spirit's saying no you didn't learn your from the last time when you should have just cut this off totally so hence why that your spirit guys are saying it's important to go back and learn. So this is why this is, is going to be happening again. It's like, I feel like, is it a test to see whether you would go down this road again? Put yourself through that again. I hate these tests we get given. Tell me, please, Brad. I didn't even get the question out, but never mind. You have new moon in Scorpio, go deeper. Yeah, there's the hermit again. It's like go within, think think things. Um, don't look at face value, okay, or words or things like that, superficiality or whatever it's called. Go within and f you will find the answers. And then you've got last quarter moon in Virgo, attend to the details. That's the thing. Look at the closer details. Look at what this person's going to be telling you. Because there's something here that you may miss. What else, Spirit? Jesus, reconciliation. Learn to reconcile with yourself. That's the thing. There is a reconciliation here, but Spirit is literally saying to you, learn to reconcile with yourself. And it, it could literally be your divine feminine energy. Learn to, to, to reconcile with who you used to be. Maybe you feel... I do see you missing this person and sometimes we don't feel whole when the person's not there but you're looking at it wrong telepathy close soul connections harmoniously synchronized reenactment of a telepathic moment so you could have a telepathic communication with this person here um but it's also this could be a soul contract this could be a karmic contract here recognition the universe will help you recognize signs and miracles if you pay attention and you've got honor treat the people you love with respect and you'll find your relationships become stronger okay and feelings take time to explore the deep emotions you are experiencing this is what spirit wants you to do with what comes back around is literally um explore how you're really feeling Because I feel like whoever this is, is going to make you feel really like the, in the energy of the Nine of Swords again. And that's not healthy. What else, Spirit? Get out of your own comfort zone. That's the thing as well. None of us like to get out of our own comfort zone, in it because it's just like it's scary, and and maybe that's what you're scared of. Love will come. Be brave enough to accept it. Yeah, and that's the thing. This is what I'm saying. Some of you may actually be single. You may be lonely, and you know, and this person comes back around. There was love here, genuine love from your side, anyway. 
and like I said, some of you may want your family back together, you know, the way it used to be. But Spirit's saying, these three cards here, guys, it's not going to happen. Try to accept life's imperfections. Stay positive. Yep. You know, some people can get very um, bogged down with so many things happening. You know, bad, bad events, bad situations, things not going their way. So Spirit is asking you... See it as an imperfection, really. Never looked at it that way. Freedom, greatness. Yeah. So hopefully, once you've dealt with this, you will feel free, okay? So what else, Spirit? That's group two should expect to come back around. Sad news, disappointment, dif disappointing messages, not what you wanted to hear, something not going in your favour, inconvenient truth, there it is, I'm nodding my head as I'm reading this, it's not that you can see it. <laughs> and this is what I was saying right at the beginning with the Ace of Wands, it is not going to go the way you thought it was going to go. Boredom, bored of daily routine, wanting more out of life, longing for change, consider, uh, constrained by circumstances. And that's the thing, like you guys may be single parents, you know, and it's becoming just really mundane. I was a single parent for years at one time. Um, and maybe that's what Spirit is asking you to do is maybe find a hobby or something here, guys. Get, you know, get out, out there, get out of the comfort zone. Find something that, that brings a bit of spark back into your life. Um, but then again, I don't know if you were to consider this, it could be constrained by circumstances, could end up being the situation you're back in again. Because it could be that you have children, but this, this Knight of Wands is a child as well. So you're not just looking after your children, you're looking after your Knight of Wands. Rare gift, a special gift given to you, sees the opportunities, unique gifts being luck, uh, bring luck and success, the power to attract wealth. So there is a rare gift, there is luck coming to you, but the devil energy can end up taking that away from you. And it, you know, that rare gift is that Ten of Pentacles, you know, it may even be someone leaving you some money, it could be like winning the lottery or something like that. Look, happiness, feeling happy about your life, an incident that made you happy, a smoother ride through life, feeling on top of the world. The Spirit's saying you will end up experiencing happiness, but I feel like this has got to get over that first. Pink diamond, a rare opportunity, find one of a kind love, unique creative expression, wealth and prosperity. And there's that wealth and prosperity again. So unique. Uh, so one of a kind love that could be what you may end up giving up with uh, giving up on maybe a soulmate connection because we have the soulmate card instead of settling for the devil so saying the spirit saying there's more out there group two so much more better <laughs> i don't know why i'm hearing that some chance for group two please spirit of what's coming back around heels Trying to impress attraction, attractiveness, sexually empowered, wielding sexual attraction. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. This could be a lustful sexual connection here, and it's just like that's what you've got to be careful of. Sun, happiness, success, clarity, divine masculine again. There is someone here for you, group two, a divine masculine, if you want it, that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Okay, let's take those. So we've got dragon, chaos, untamed nature, potent powers, aggression. Wow. So be careful, guys, okay? This is literally like the Knight of Wands and the Devil Energy here. That this, And then we had the uh, Tower in reverse as well, and that is Ruin, okay? This is, this is someone that's coming in bringing a lot of chaos. They've got an untamed nature. That you can't tame this person no matter how much you try. You shouldn't have to tame someone, but you you know, you would think they would be tamed. Um, and there could be some kind of aggression here, maybe even on your part. So just be careful because that did come out in that card. Magical lamp. 
wish fulfillment, hidden magic manifesting your hopes and wishes. So you guys could literally be wishing for this person to reconcile with you, but be careful what you wish for. Some of you may be wishing for a new relationship and spirit saying that's going to happen. Virgo, wanting, wanting convenience, hmm, feeling unsatisfied, unhealthy habits, unhealthy eating. Now, I did say here there could be something here that you're doing that is unhealthy. You're, you know, maybe you're not looking after yourself very well. This energy here, though, could just be wanting you out of convenience as well. So let's get your spirit animal for group two, please, spirit. Dragon. Jeez, you've got dragon there and dragon here. Passion. The dragon is a reminder of your strong will and fiery personality. It's also a symbol of passion and fire. You are being asked to practice self-control and be cautious so that your passion does not lead you into trouble. And another thing that's coming through quite strongly here as well, guys, be very, very careful because somebody could try and make get you pregnant here. We do have the Empress. I've just seen that. This could be someone that's trying to trap you this time, you know, start a family with you as well. We literally have a strong message coming through here. Control your temper. Control your anger. Okay. Because this this card, the downward path, is it was saying the same thing as well. So what could happen here for you, Group 2? I'm getting it quite strongly here that you may end up believing this person. You end, you give this person a chance and then they go doing it again and it can turn into aggression. Okay. And you know, this is a type of energy that would literally play victim to the police. So you, you would get arrested. So be very careful. That's coming through really strong here. Please listen to that. Also, be careful of those lustful energies. So let's see what Angel is helping you in this situation here of what's coming back around for group two. Ooh. Let's do that again. Group two. Okay, you want to come out. Oh, sod you. <laughs> Let's do that again. That was in group one. We don't want the same angel number for group two. Oh, God. Whatever. 5858, Angel of Discovery, Rizal. Rizal eliminates the path of enlightenment. Welcome re 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 revelations. Seek enlightenment in every experience and foster an unwavering awareness of the universe's wonders. Relevation, enlightenment and awareness. So basically this, this angel's bringing you awareness. You're going to be enlightened to something as well. Um, yeah, so, okay, that's a good angel to have for you guys. So, question time, group two. Any question you want to ask? Let's see. For group two, please, spirit. When the healing is done, healing is hard. Be there for yourself and others without judgment. Okay. So, my loves, thank you so much for staying and watching. I really do appreciate you guys showing me love and support on my channel and watching my videos and putting up with me. <laughs> um, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd really love to have you and you guys, wherever you are, you have a beautiful day. Much love. Hey, group three. So, if you chose number 13 in a freedom, I'm going to read a bit from the book for this card, okay, to see what's coming back around for you guys. <clears throat> so, it actually says... If you wish to be truly free from destructive habits, you need to not only abstain from such conduct, but also to rewire your desires and train yourself to aim for things that will propel you forwards rather than things that hold you back. So, it even says, <coughs> sorry guys, it even says here, right? <coughs> <clears throat> sorry our lower self or ego has a pro propensity to seek pleasure immediate gratification comfort and ease like it's the easy road to take so this is a part of us that says such things as take the rest of the day off relax let's have a few drinks and switch off don't worry about doing things today start tomorrow or what's the big deal if i sleep in this morning instead of getting up and to do my practice so, 
this could be something how you you go through life okay and you may have actually released that for a while but it's coming back around again so this habit that you you have of of maybe having that kind of attitude group free is going to be coming back around but it also could be what i'm seeing here is maybe you have someone in your life that literally is in that energy okay and you you follow this person it could or you could have friends that do this let's have a look but maybe it's more within you but we can't tell until the tarot comes out so this is what's coming back around again okay um something that you didn't release before and that needs to re be released again okay <laughs> So let's have a look for group three. Tap me into group three. What is coming back around for group three? What do they need to face? Ace of Swords, the truth. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. To try and get, uh, I don't know, some kind of clarification here. Um, let's have a look. I'm going to do that again. So we the Ace of Swords. Okay, let's see. We've got the Page of Wands. Six of Wands. So we've got the Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, Six of Wands. The Star in Reverse. You feel stuck. Maybe it's it's the the you feel stuck in in your mindset of the way you're doing things. Um, it either could be that you just doubt yourself, you doubt your abilities here, and it could be fear of maybe people rejecting you or, or not recognizing how much you work hard or how much you study hard maybe you're not even putting enough effort into your studies here if some of you are studying um, and you're doing half ass effort like making a half ass effort okay and i don't know this is what spirit is saying that needs to need you need to find clarity on okay this needs to change Because you could achieve something beyond your wildest dreams here, but it's changing your mindset. Tell me about the star in reverse. The Hierophant. Tell me about the star in reverse and the Hierophant. The Tower. The Sun. Look, the healing energy again. Like, something needs to be healed. Four of Wands. It could even be... Something, like I said, in your life that... that you want to achieve something so much bigger, Okay. You even may want to create like a, a social media platform or whatever. But there's someone in your life here that may be of different, you know, religion, okay, different way of thinking, very old fashioned. And it's like I'm hearing this person tell you that, you know, this this is st study hard, you know, get this type of job become a doctor or a lawyer or whatever and that's not what you want to do that's literally not what you want to do so what you're doing is literally just you're doing half assed making a half assed effort at studying okay or in your job or whatever it is that you're doing because you just can't be bothered because it's not what you want to do but it's like you're trying to please this hierophant here even family members it could be so instead of taking the bull by the horns and, and doing what you want to do, you end up doubting yourself, you end up with doubting your abilities, you end up, this this energy here could end up making you doubt yourself as well. And that's not healthy. It's like, whoever this hierophant is, it's, they tend to ruin things for you here. It's like, you feel like you don't fit in where you don't, you feel like you don't belong. 
that there's something different out there for you and i feel like this is what spirit is saying is is instead of just plodding along accepting things for the way they are are you going to take action and make a huge change yeah it's going to cause upheaval it's going to cause a, a maybe a, a an argument or something that that uh these people are not going to be happy about but spirit saying at the end of the day it's your happiness that is more important than anybody else's happiness you've got an opportunity here to create something for yourself and and do what what it is that you know if you want to go back to school spirit saying go back to school you know it could even be a partner that's telling you no this is you know stay with your job blah 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 but you've got this sun energy here which is material success okay and a joyful outcome if you can just take take the leap okay i'm surprised the full hasn't come out this is something quite major you're going through at the moment it's like i don't know like an ego death or something we have taurus we have aquarius we have leo so tell me more please spirit so <laughs> I feel like you've tried to block it out. You've tried to keep the peace with this Hierophant, with this the Four of Wands here, to not cause the Tower moment in your life and maybe in their lives here. And you've you've just literally blocked it out. And Spirit will make it come back around because Spirit's, you know, the Tower is all about illusions, okay? The Tower ends up, come, you know, it falls down. It, it crumbles people being thrown out of it because it's trying to get you to realize that something needs to change and it could be that you don't want to bring disgrace upon your family or yourself there could be something here as well that you guys may have started a a social media platform or whatever and you're starting to get a lot of attention and you're worried about you know maybe what this hierophant is going to think and feel maybe they're they're old-fashioned they don't think you should be doing that kind of job tell me more about what's coming back around for group three king of swords so, oh my god nine of cups you've Two wish cards right there. And the Ten of Cups in reverse. Now, with the King of Swords, Spirit's asking you to be in the King of Swords energy, okay? Take charge of this situation. You are a leader. You're not a follower. You're not someone who should be told what to do. It's exactly what Spirit's saying. Detach yourself. Be honest with yourself. Detach from... Um, I suppose the way these people make you think because you're missing, you're missing, <laughs> you're missing out on a nine of cups here, which is wish fulfillment. Okay, the, the, pff, achieving something beyond your wildest dreams. But you know, if, if you were to go for this wish that you want, okay, this desire that you want, you know, you are going to cause a problem with the ten of cups in reverse. And this is, um, Maybe these people are threatened, the family members are threatened to disown you, you know, because this is a broken home, this is divorce, this is separation. If you, if this is a partner of yours, this partner may have actually threatened you and told you if you do this, it's over and that's not the way to live. That's not the way, you should never be told that at all. That Gemini Libra Aquarius as well. This, let's get some advice from Spirit. What advice would you give group three with what's about to come back around for group three? Three of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. It's like Spirit saying, what are you waiting for? <laughs> yeah, what, what are you waiting for? It's like, you're a very hard worker, group three. But you're exhausted from doing the same thing over and over again. Um, not doing what, what you want to do for yourself. I'm 
but spirit saying here as well if you were to willing if you're willing to commit to this idea that you have or even changing jobs or whatever and you put in a lot of hard work and you're patient with it the the <laughs> The stability and you know the security that that you're craving will be okay it will come it will be fine it, you know maybe these this hierophant talks you out of it and tells you you know oh you know you could end up you know not earning any money and how you're going to pay your bills and this that and it causes a lot of worry but also with the four of pentacles here it's like spirit is saying instead of waiting around and hoping this is going to get better or they're going to change their mind spirit is saying that this is what you need to release any more advice here spirit for group three i mean it could even be that where you're exhausted and like i said you you just don't make much of an effort you just go into work to earn the coin and, and bring home the, the money and you're just bored. What else, Spirit? What advice? The moon, the fall, and the ten of wands. And the knight of swords. The knight of swords is about taking action, okay? Make that big change. Jump in, be impulsive, take a risk. But you, I don't know. You bury the you bury the way you feel. You don't you don't really. It's like you keep saying to yourself, oh, "I'll just bury it down there, and I'll, I'll just leave it there, and I won't confront it. You know, it'll be okay." And this is why it's coming back around because spirits say, "No, you need to face this now." It's like I'm seeing whoever this hierophant is to you. That it's like they 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 put an illusion. Okay, they put a spin on something here that tends to to convince you that you know it's not a good idea to do it. Instead of you know, spirit's advice to you is take that leap of faith, take that chance here, take a risk. You've got the Knight of Swords as well. You know, gain some freedom here for yourself. It's like you're bogged down by so much with the Ten of Wands. It's like you've taken on too much. I don't know. You're just stressed. You're exhausted. You've got a lot of responsibilities. Maybe that's the excuse you're showing, giving yourself here. Oh, no, I've got too many responsibilities. You know, I've got to be bringing in the income. And I do know there are families that, you know, when you get older, you've got, you know, you've got to help your family. You've got to support them and this could be like them relying on you for that stability and that security that you know your income that you bring into the home and spirit is saying to you that this is such a shame there could be like a new job offer here that someone's going to give you a like pro proposition you with something you know like a new job or like to create something here that's going to bring you a lot of reward a lot of recognition um but it's like you didn't take the opportunity the first time and Spirit is literally bringing it back around again and saying, here it is again. Do you want to take it this time? Yeah, there are going to be consequences. But it's too much responsibility for one person. Let me ask about this Ten of Cups in reverse because, you know, if it's family, we don't want to upset family. Tell me about the Ten of Cups in reverse. What is the advice with this unhappy home here? Unhappy families. The Hermit. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups and the Hermit. Are you asking them to keep it quiet for now? Seven of Wands. Four of Wands, Five of Wands, Eight of Cups. Spirit's saying you need to put boundaries in place with your family if this is family or your relationship. I feel like it is family members. There, You really do need to put boundaries in place and protect yourself. 
because I feel like there is no boundaries here. We've got the family card again. And that's the thing, I feel like group three, you don't want to rock the boat because your family life is happy, but spirit is literally saying to you, is it really happy? Is it? Yes, it may be, but your, your parents or these family members overstep so many boundaries. It, it, it's like there is no privacy here whatsoever. There is conflict going on in the home and there may end up being an argument, there may be some disagreements here, and I feel like this is what you're doing, you're just keeping the peace, you're just plodding along. You'd rather just walk away from from this instead of taking your own destiny, taking fate in, you know, it's like you're leaving it up to fate, you're leaving it up to chance, and sometimes that's not the best way to do this. Sometimes it's best to, to literally take dest our destiny into our own hands and make that change because you've got this beautiful wheel of fortune here. You can create something that you absolutely love. You know, I'm seeing here as well, there may be an argument, there may be disagreements, that you know, they may not be happy about it, but I don't see it actually um, being bad because there's still love here. You know, it may be, you know, maybe these people want to cut you off and they want to reconcile or they did cut you off. This may have already happened and it's coming back around, you know. So it's up to you whether you want to do something here, um, group three, that you've really wanted to do, but you, you, you end up doubting yourself and whether you can do it or not. Or is it going to be successful? Is it going to be really hard? Blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah that's a shame that is a really big shame that is so tell me more for group 3 what's coming back around what do I need to know let your emotions flow and that's the thing I said you, you're burying lit, literally how you feel all, all this it's like you've not been able to I don't know feel feel so sad you know maybe you were told to like i said to study a certain thing because that brings in an income and it's something that you never wanted to do so the spirit's asking you let the emotions flow when it comes to this coming back around embrace the dark yeah embrace the darkness embrace the 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 five of wands here that's coming um Be without malice. The spirit is asking you to, in when this happens, okay, when this comes back around, let go of that malice, okay, um, and stay strong. Wow. Be strong. Be stand firm. That's what I'm hearing. Spirit says, stand up for yourself. Let's get a message from your spirit guides to you. Group three. Right, you've got breathe. The breath is vital. <laughs> Sorry, the breath is vital bridge between your body and soul. It's a connection between the inside and outside, connecting you to the universe, spirit and the divine source. The breath permeates your entire being with prama, which is the same life-giving force that nourishes everything in the universe. So just breathe, I suppose. Maybe even when it comes back around, breathe. Don't, you know let the emotions flow, embrace the dark, do it without malice, you know, because tempers are going are gonna to be risen here with the five of wands. Ancestral wisdom. We are your ancestors and we love you. We walked the earth many years before you. We ask you at the poignant time to learn and grow from our past experiences. You are our legacy and we will keep on helping you as we continue to evolve here in the spirit world. So your ancestors are helping you on, on this. So it could be your ancestors literally bringing it back around. It could be part of the karma here that, you know, karma needs to play out. Um... What else for group three? These are so hard to shuffle these cards. It's like they all stick together. Group three, please. Spark, like on. 
First quarter moon in Leo, be humble. Yeah, so, you know, like I said, some of you, this could have actually already happened. And what's coming back around is maybe your family want to reconcile. You know, maybe they've now seen your successes and how well you're doing. And Spirit is asking you to do it without malice and to be humble in the process of doing it as well. Um, you have full moon in Cancer. Let your fears dissolve. Yeah, and there it is. That is the fear that is literally holding you back because you feel like, you're fearful of, of your home situation. You're fearful of whether you're going to fail. Last quarter moon in Aries. Work through your feelings. Um, so what else for group? Oh, my God. So you have... I didn't even shuffle. Yes. Trust your intuition. So if you were sitting there thinking something, the answer is yes. Soul. Your soul is preparing for re-established trust in the process. That's cool. Trust again. Okay. Didn't we get trust earlier? Anyway, you need to trust in a relate in a relationship for it to thrive. So, you know, I don't see this being a relation relationship, maybe a physical relationship. It could be just literally a relationship with, with what your soul is literally desiring here, you know, craving. Let go. Some things are best let go and let the universe work it out in divine time and this is the thing as well you know we had the eight of cups it's like spirit saying sometimes it's best to just walk away and just let things play out um attract the appeal of soul pairing goes beyond superficiality so you're attracting you could be attracting this again okay we do have the magician on the back of the deck because you've buried this it's Something may have triggered it to come back up and then, you know, you may have been thinking about it quite a lot recently about like, oh, do you think I can do it? And, you know, I could do it this way and that way. That's you attracting it, okay? So hence why it's coming back. Because it's like Spirit saying, you know, here you go. Here's an opportunity to do something about it this time. So group three, please, Spirit. The truth only shows part of it. So you're maybe only seeing part of the truth. You know, maybe um, it's to do with this family member here. You know, maybe you're not getting the full truth because the moon is also talking about hidden things that are hidden from you. Okay, kept a secret, that kind of thing. Be f we, free we face it together. So Spirit is saying to you that we're with you. Your ancestors are there with you. Sorry, just not the bloody camera. Be be honest with each other. So, you know, but it also could just be being honest with your soul, you know, with yourself. It also could just be being honest with these family members or if it is a partner. Angels have come to, uh, come to you. So you, you've got angels around you at the moment and ancestors. You are the brightest star. Wow. You've got the star there in reverse. You are a star. Okay, like I said, you are a leader. You're not a follower. You're supposed to be your own boss. Okay, you're supposed to create something for yourself here. And it's just like it's just not happened. So let's see what else is coming around again. Wow. Business, work interpretership, career moves, working on your career success, earning money through work. There it is again. That's what's coming back around. Stepping stones, take taking one step at a time. Don't rush the journey. Gradually building on success, the start of something new. Oh, I love that for you. What else is coming back around? The world, completion of a major milestone, fulfillment, time, success, broadening your horizons and end of a journey. So, yeah, you know, this, I feel like your, your pile is very positive, group three. I feel like, I feel like you will take the opportunity this time round. I feel like you're really going to do it this time. But then again, some of you may shut the door on this again and it will just keep coming back around. Wow, I'm finished. Leaving things unfinished, trying to loose up, loose up, tying up loose ends, things left unresolved, see things through. Oh my God, literally. That is the missing piece, is this here. It's unfinished. And this is, it will come back. 
should get you some charms. So for group three, what is coming back around? What do they need to know? The crown. Wow. Success and victory, power and authority, material gain, ruling your world. Jesus, how much of this can you keep being told this? You know, that your stoir. Stoir. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, for God's sake. Star quality. <laughs> Sword, double-edged sword, cutting out injustice, conflict and aggression, break through. Wow. So there could be some aggression, there could be conflict, which I said there is going to be. It's a double-edged sword, basically. You can't, you can't win. Um, what's that saying? You're damned if you don't, you're damned if you do, if you do. Or is it damned if you do, if you're damned if you don't? Some of you may know that saying. So you're going to be cutting out injustice here, okay? But we do see conflict. But you're going to have a breakthrough. And then you've got Buddha. Fulfilling destiny, reflection, positive thinking, understanding. So you're finally going to be getting an understanding of why this has come back around. Maybe you've seen this reading and when it does come back around, you're going to be like, oh my God, Star said that. Um, this is your destiny. We've got, I said this about the Wheel, Wheel of Fortune. It's whether you want to take destiny into your own hands and go for it, or you're going to just leave it up to fate because that's not going to work. But you've got so much success and abundance here that, you know, even with the sun, even when the star comes out in reverse, it's still your wishes will be fulfilled, but it's delayed because you keep delaying it. Let's get you. A spirit animal. Oh, that was quick. Grow, crow, transition. Which part of your life is or may be going through a transition? Maybe you are changing relationships, careers or cities. Wow, you can't make this up. Whatever it is, the crow is signalling that you are ready to make the change. Oh my God. Let's see what angels are around you with this as well. What angel is around group Oh my god. Let's take that 787. <laughs> it's be a bloody pile. <sighs> right. Angel of Reflection Sandophon. Sandophon delivers your prayers to the divine. Stay grounded and remember that miracles often come in unexpected forms. Prayer grounding miracles. There you go. So this may be very unexpected. Like I said, there is something coming back. And you're going to have an opportunity again that spirit is literally giving it to you okay and like i said is it are you going to take it or are you going to leave it so ask spirit any question you want to ask and let's go for group three please spirit take all three okay so it says january the magical solution is on its way all obstacles you see in your reality are just illusions then you've got in winter which is obviously january believe in your dreams don't settle for less simply because it's available be patient enough to wait for what you truly desire and and that's the thing i don't know what you asked for but literally this is saying what i was saying you're settling and then you've got until the lesson is learned. Unwanted situations will keep representing, re, re, sorry, unwanted situations will keep repeating until the lesson is learned. Hence why this is coming back around again. And you know, when I was shuffling that, I also got another message come through. You're literally seeing the truth in the situation now. You're seeing the truth in what your family members are doing or, or if this is a, a partner. Um, and you're finding clarity on all this now, you know, what, what is really going on. You know, I feel like you're being used, sorry to say it, group three, for, as a cash cow. Okay, I'm just going to be totally blunt with you. It's not right. You're giving up on a dream here, on your wants and your needs for the sake of other people. You can still support those people, but they should be supporting your dreams as well. Because I know I would with my kids, even, you know, sometimes... You know, you wouldn't agree with everything that your children do, but you've got to support them. 
so my loves thank you so much for staying and watching i do really appreciate you all and the love and support that you show my channel and if you're new here please consider subscribing i would love to have you you guys wherever you are you have a beautiful day much love